it's always difficult. Um, you know, when you get into the dance and you feel like you have a team that, that has a chance to win the ultimate prize, um, the ending's abrupt and awful. And, um, so it always, you know, takes some getting over. But you also have to get over it and, and have to move on and press on and, and get ready to try and, you know, close that gap. How much we've closed the gap? I don't know. We'll see. We're in February. You know, it's like we got a long way to go to even get that opportunity to find out if we get to play in the playoffs and have that crack again. Um, we feel like that's our expectation. Um, you know, I feel like every year that I've been here, we've gone in with the idea that we want to be a championship team and feel like it's a reasonable goal. Um, We've had a team to where that's been a reasonable goal, um, but obviously we haven't done it yet. Um, so, and and you know, there's been some teams, namely the Astros, that have 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 been a nemesis that have knocked us off a, a couple times. So, um, and they've kind of set the standard right now, certainly in the American League. So, um, but that said, you know, we got a bear of a division that we've got to go through. Um, you know, I feel like in a lot of ways there's there's a number of the teams in the American League um, are better. I, I think there's, you know, three, four teams that are going to be better um, and, and, you know, in that realistic hunt for a playoff berth, um, as well as some rebuilding teams over the last few years that are, you know, coming out of the rebuild a little bit and that are going to be more competitive. So, um, you know, we can talk about, you know, closing the gap, but right now that's all that's all talk. We we got a long way to go. We got workouts here to get ourselves ready for for spring training games and then spring training games to get ready for the season and and you know, first and foremost try and try and win the Eastern Division again and um, but right now any of it's talk. Marley, oh, I'm sorry, yep. Tyler, and then Marley. Okay. Um, you know, one thing the Astros did to you guys, but also to Seattle and the Phillies, is is they just struck a lot of guys out. I mean, 50 strikeouts in four games. Um, do you view the strikeouts as a problem or just as a four-game blip? And how do you uh, reduce the strikeouts while still hitting a ton of home runs? Um, well, I view it as I, I think the Astros team that we faced – um, this past postseason or in this past year was probably as good a pitching staff as we faced uh, in any run that we've had in the playoffs. You know, I thought the Rays in 2020 in the in the pandemic year had a really dynamic pitching staff that was um, – so I think part of that was I thought we faced a really great top-to-bottom pitching staff that kind of did that to everyone. Um, you know, I – we had some key contributors, real key cogs in our lineup that were not available to us, which I think hurt us a little bit. And then coupled with we didn't perform the way at the top top of the heap. Um, so we're constantly trying to address those things. Um, you know, you know, I think in a lot of ways we had, you know, I think we led the league in runs scored last year. Like that's. That's actually a thing. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to score runs, and you know, we ran up against a, a bit of a buzzsaw, and we were a little depleted. But that said, we're going to win it all, and we're going to win the prize. We got to find a way to get by these teams that, you know, on a given year, really got it rolling on the mound. And we got to find a way to, 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 to be able to win those nip and tuck games too.